factor. Besides, what will the weather be where you are is what's happening with Hurricane Dorian. Now a Category 2 storm with more than 100 mile an hour winds, so stronger uh, even overnight, and it's going to continue to gain intensity. In fact, becoming a major hurricane today. And the increased likelihood for a direct hit on Florida has uh, all these models coming together, not only in the direction of the storm, but also becoming more and more congruent with the timing as well. A Labor Day landfall, but perhaps later on Monday as the storm will slow down as it does so means that it could create uh, even stronger storm and, and maybe even a worst case scenario for Florida. So what's happening right now is the storm is out here in the open waters. It can strengthen. There's nothing really to slow it down. It's also entering very warm water, which allows the energy of the storm to really well organize and, and the land or the uh, eye wall will really uh, form very well in those kinds of conditions. We've got the Gulf Stream right before landfall, and so that also keeps the storm very intact. A Category 4 storm, uh, is of course very, very uh, intense hurricane, but also the size of this as it makes landfall could also be a major problem because as the hurricane makes landfall, it's going to slow down already hitting land, but the steering winds, what would push the hurricane in, a, in one direction or the other are also going to be lost. And so the hurricane will sort of sit there and the leftovers will be over Florida and, and the southeast for, for quite a while here. And we see uh, the models all kind of putting this right hand turn in. What that is there is just the slowdown of the storm once it makes landfall. So what happens after it makes landfall? There's a range of tracks of where it could go to the northeast. But what we do know is that there will be a steering wind that sort of cuts off the storm from coming too far to the north.